Yeehaw! Welcome back to Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, this may be the busiest year Panera's had from the menu overhaul uh, to a lot of new items. You know, you're seeing a lot of items get removed for logical reason. Ain't nobody want the, the nasty pizza that Panera was offering. Nobody wants teriyaki. I don't think they have teriyaki bowls anymore, but I, I wouldn't want to go to Panera for teriyaki, right? And I daggone sure don't want to pay $14 for a chicken sandwich. I mean, they were decent, but why? Why would you go for those things? So at least they're being somewhat logical, but then again, they're being somewhat stupid with some of the new items. And so it's it's very entertaining, right? It's like Panera's having a midlife crisis and they've not been able to escape it yet. And we'll see if they ever do. But one thing that, that will probably not happen is that prices will never be reasonable, which, you know, that's just Panera. That's how they've always been. So four new items, you can get two of them all day and two of them are only breakfast only. I was planning on doing this another day, like the, the day before this video was recorded. And um, well, lo and behold, I saw the avocado things were only available for breakfast, which I felt was kind of logical, but also felt was kind of stupid. It made me upset. I really did, uh, Panera, but hey, I don't make the new decisions, you do. So I just do the reviews and I tell people how good or not good these things are. So thumbnail, everybody, good. Okay, I guess we'll start with the avocado toast and go to the spicy sandwiches. But um, we've got two types of avocado toast. Now keep in mind, don't, don't go into this and start complaining if you don't like the avocado spread. It is prepackaged. They don't, they don't take avocados and cut them. They're not paid to do that. That's not their, that's not their employee specialty. They're paid to make sandwiches, right? With whatever Panera gives them. Panera doesn't want them freshly slicing cheese or deli meats or anything like that. This is not Jersey Mike's or Jimmy John's. This is Panera. All right, so this is, I mean, it looks pretty good for an avocado spread that's supposed to be prepackaged. All right, so well, let's try it out. I'm I'm intrigued. Texture's inter interesting. Some of it's uh, firmer. Some of it's uh, softer, creamier. It tastes like you've got, well, it looks and tastes like you've got everything bagel seasoning. Not super flavorful, but it's pretty good, right? Um, got sourdough toast. Not like toasted, but still, it's a piece of sourdough bread with avocado on it. And it's, it's, it's serviceable, I would say, at the least. Um, good nutritional value, right? Avocados have good nutritional value to them. And it's pretty good. I, I would give it a 7. There's nothing that warrants it any higher or lower, in my opinion. But I think this cracked, peppered, cracked pepper tomato, mayo as it seems, and avocado will be just a little bit better, right? So... I forget the name of this one, but it's pretty clear by the app. Or if you even decide to walk in, just ask for the one with tomatoes on it, and the boy will know. And you, you'll have eyes to know what one has tomatoes, right? So let's try it. Hmm. A little bit of sassiness. I don't know what that sauce is. Thought it was mayo. I think it is, but there might be some lime in here. That tomato really adds this whole new texture and cooling factor. It's kind of refreshing. I 
obviously you can't beat like fresh avocado, right? But I think this is really like close to kind of a BLT in a way. You're just missing the lettuce and bacon, of course. Which makes me wonder if you can customize some bacon onto this thing. Bacon would really make sense with this. As is though, I'm satisfied. I would give it a solid, um, why am I blanking out on that? Solid eight and a half. I'm happy with it. All right, now we got the spicy Fiesta chicken. Which is like a spicy sauce. It's corn. Looks like some peppers, cheese, chicken. All right, let's take a bite. It definitely has some Southwest flavors to it and a pretty bold kick. Flavor's pretty good. The heat, pretty good. I definitely prefer it over the OG avocado toast, but I wouldn't give it super high rating. But it does, it does fit the bill for spicy, right? A lot of these places don't have too, too spicy of an item when they say, oh, this is gonna be spicy. But this has a pretty good kick. I would definitely give it a uh, seven and a half. All right, one more item. And we're leaving you be. This is spicy grilled cheese. Same same type of spicy sauce. Tastes maybe, maybe like poblano peppers, maybe jalapeno, but it has a good kick to it. It looks like a cream cheese spread though. I'm not. I didn't read into what's on it, but it can't be much more than cheese and a spicy spread. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be as spicy. Even though it could have the same spread. It's not standing out a lot. Um, it's decent. It's definitely not as good as the other three items. Maybe the type of bread plays a role into that too. Um, the kick does ramp up some. I'd give it like a six, right? It's okay. The cheese isn't anything crazy. The kick's pretty good. Um, but I would just say, just go ahead, go for the Fiesta chicken. And if you're gonna go for something spicy, add a little bit more complexity, more flavor, better bread, you know, overall just a better experience than that grilled cheese so yeah that is the review hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did you better subscribe if you didn't goodbye and again if you did i'll see y'all <laughs> sorry i'll see y'all around